in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create uh, this 3d transition in PowerPoint so I really hope you're gonna learn something make sure you watch this until the very end and um, what I encourage you to do uh, that's what I've actually seen uh, throughout the time I was like learning different programs that you don't really have to follow along with someone actually you can learn way more if you just pay attention if you understand what they're doing instead of just uh, following each step I think that's a detriment I think that can actually not help you that much uh, whereas if you just pay attention to what they're doing and to understand the process understand the concepts you'll be able to learn that's my personal opinion i used to just follow along with people um you know by watching tutorials learning different programs and i didn't learn that much because uh, my thought or my thinking wasn't active so I wasn't I was like paying attention but i didn't really understand deeply what they're doing so i just wanted to uh, let you know maybe you'll find this helpful this tip so also i'm going to share with you my train of thought what i'm doing here so first i have a few images i grabbed for unsplash i'll leave the um creators the others of these images in the description of this video and now as you can see we actually have some things we have to solve here which is they have background and to remove the background um, it's, it's really really nice feature we have here when we select the image we have picture format so we can uh, go to select the picture we would like to remove the background and then we can go to background remove and here you see mark areas to remove so i'm going to select mark areas to remove i'm just going to drag this line here and now I just click changes. Now I only have this, uh, well, the image without the background. So it's really cool. You can also go and click on format picture. And uh, here you have soft edges. And I'm just gonna increase just a little bit, not that much, just a little bit. And now we have this one, which is great. I'm going to remove the background for this one as well remove background i want this keep changes second one remove background okay this one as well remove the background i would like to keep this part And this feature can save you time because I know a long time ago this wasn't possible and I used to use uh, I used to have like um, or uh, Adobe Photoshop but now with this it's fast and is inside PowerPoint remove background mark areas I don't really have to do anything here and now we're gonna start I'm gonna start we're gonna start with uh, the background first of all and also what you have in mind we have to decide what we have in mind so i would like to actually add this and um, first we're gonna have to create um, background so i'm gonna click on shapes here you can also go home and here you can see uh, the shapes here you have a bunch of shapes available here and there's many different shapes available I'm going to go with this rectangle and uh, move it about here. So I'm going to create the background. Now I'm just going to write this, right click on this uh, shape, format shape. And here we have fill. Do we need fill? Yes, we need. Do we need line, uh, which is this one here? this line here well well we don't need for this do we need gradient fill uh, to create a background uh, we do actually need to create a simple background but another thing that you can do is actually you can also import a background from the internet you can use pixabay on splash and find a background that looks good and then just import that background that's uh, one way you can also use solid fill, but um, for this one, gradient, uh, preset gradient. Here we have some presets available for us to use. 
and as you can see there's uh, I'm gonna delete this one here I'm gonna double click here or just actually select from here and now for this one we're gonna something like this but of course I'm not gonna use this color and I'm gonna delete this one here and then we can also add transparency but I'm just gonna select this one change a different color something more dark here you can select more colors we can uh, cool down this color and let's go like this and now add this effect can increase from here brightness can select from here path linear radial and we can also change here the position 50 percent or 34 so you have a lot of uh, options as you can see so we also have here as i said presets all right we can add background here so what i would like here is now to duplicate control plus d resize this and now here we have some uh, options here to add more um more shapes and what we need for this one first let's actually select this we can also here we can add some shadow and transparency so we can blur that part no line and we can also make this more transparent like this now we can add this burger here and move this right in front you can also do this from when you select the image bring forward or send back but i use the shortcut Control shift and the square bracket you have the open square bracket or the close one to move behind or in the front and what we need for this one also actually the color is not the best but you can use the eyedropper so this color should be good like this eyedropper as well can really save you some time because you don't have to do the entire work yourself you can also use um, like uh, use some uh, websites to grab to grab colors look this website color hunt you can use to find color tags you can add some tags here and grab some color palettes all right and now what we need uh, to create is more realistic well first uh and behind behind this line this should be more blurred and uh we need to, we should add some uh reflection and size and of course now distance and we have this reflection about here let's close here and we also can add the blur and the distance right now here you can see the distance the distance goes back here but uh, another thing that i use sometimes is for reflection 
usually I can just uh, control D and now you just rotate this then you move this close to your work and you just change the transparency sorry not here let's close this we can change the transparency but not that's for shadow uh, we just have to go to here we have size position text and we can uh, first actually we can also add some glow sorry some uh, soft edges and then we go back to this and increase transparency okay now we have some glow effect now the next step so using gradient stops I added some uh, some gradient stops to create this effect and now the next step well what we have to do is just to right click and duplicate slide you can also press ctrl plus D and now for this effect well first time we have to make all this be right in front all this gradient and this one and this effect should first actually this one I should delete this slide and should add first actually let's duplicate it and here let's add all the fruits behind because the second line I'm planning the second in the second slide I'm planning to bring all the ingredients around this burger this one are all the ingredients are inside this burger like behind this burger and this in the next one are outside and then in the third one that I will create um right now control plus D I will actually bring back so the animation it's or the transition is pretty cool but I think um you have to make it work so let's actually for this one bring if you don't want to move this you can just lock this in sorry lock this let's now move this behind send back send back you can also just move like this but you still have to send back for some of them resize this now another way to add some um, uh, this looks much better but I actually haven't done this you should do all the like the base the layouts or all the uh, shadows before you duplicate anything you should add what you have to do before you because once you duplicate and you have to redo which I made that mistake but it's okay we made mistakes um, now I'm not gonna add the but you should add some shadow like here to make this look much realistic you should have you should add here some shadow now that's only if you want maybe it's floating and then you should add some shadow here if you want if it's floating it should be here but if it's not it should be just around the uh, burger <clears throat> just like 
should be like under the burger. Now the next one, here we have all this fruits around. Actually, I'm gonna lock this thing around like um, in this uh, position. And also I would like to add some, uh, some rotation. this and also increase the resolution All right, and now in the next one, it goes back to normal. And in fact, what can we do is actually just delete this, uh, this slide and just duplicate this one and move um, the, for before this one. And uh, now we can go to transition, morph, and this one morph so let's click here slideshow and this is what we have Now, there's so many other, probably I'm going to do a bar two for this presentation because I just want to work more on animation or on a presentation, sorry, not animation. So I can see how far can I go because I know this is not, I can do way better than this. But throughout this video, I really hope you learned something new. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.